What's going on guys? Luis here with another episode for you to enjoy. Today we are working on the Subaru. And what are we doing? We are installing a, it's in the box, but it's a hitch to go down there. Boom. We are taking a trip across the country to Arizona to go pick up some furniture of mine that I've had stored at my mom's house for the last six years. And so I'm really excited to bring that stuff over because I have a lot of old, like mid-century modern furniture and I think it would fit really, really well in our new home. So we've been contemplating on what, what, what we wanted to do, whether we wanted to fly, whether we wanted to do like a pods thing or something like that. But at the end of the day, it actually was more cost effective to just buy the hitch rent an actual trailer down there and then just bring it back with us here. Without further ado, let's get it. All right, so first things first is we're gonna go ahead and unbox the hitch so you can show you what we're working with. So one second. Okay. So like I said, I purchased this from U-Haul. It was about 200 bucks, 218 bucks. And you also have to purchase a wiring harness, and then also the hitch, the ball, all those good things. Since I had already purchased the wire harness and the ball hitch elsewhere, I just needed to get the hitch. Here it is. Oh, yeah. This baby's heavy. Oh, man. Definitely gonna need some help putting this thing on. Look at that guy. Oh. Okay, there we go. There it is. All right, that's what we're working with. That's what we're gonna be working with today, guys. So this is gonna go over yonder. Something like that. Dang, that thing's pretty heavy, not gonna lie. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and back into the Subaru, and I'm gonna go ahead and put them on to those ramps there so we can get the butt in the air, and it'll give us better clearance, better opportunity to work underneath the car there. So that's what I'm gonna do next. Sweet. Now that we got them on the jack stands, we're gonna go ahead and move to the bottom of this thing and figure out what we need to do. Now that we have the car on the stands, the first thing that we need to do is we need to go ahead, let's get under here, is we need to go ahead and lower the muffler here. How we do that is I have this handy dandy tool here that we'll use to get the hangers off. Here, one here, and the other one is right there. So we're gonna go ahead and use some soapy water. We're gonna spray those bad boys down, and then we're gonna push them out with this guy. Let's go ahead and spray this guy with some soapy water. Nice, and let's go ahead and get this guy too. Watch your face there. You don't want to get, you don't want to take a shower, you know what I'm saying? All right, we got that. And again, we're going to go ahead and lower this guy. We're in order for the exhaust to not fall on your face. We're going to go ahead and use a bungee cord. There we go. <clears throat> There's one. Okay. 
We got one more here, as you can see. One there, and then we'll do the other side as well. Okay. All right, cool. So we got one. Looks like it's actually easier to get it off from this side than it is the top one. I think when we install it, we're gonna go ahead and take the, the bushing off of the top there. Gonna slide it on here, and then we're just gonna try to press it in from the top there. Let's go to the other side. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and remove this side as well. We already got the other side. Okie dokie. Got that one off. All right, guys. So, we finally went ahead and got the exhaust off, as you can see. So it's hanging there by a bungee cord. Not really liking the way that that's hanging pretty low. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually grab a jack stand and rest the exhaust on the jack stand. We should be good for there. Next thing we gotta do, remove those heat shields. 2 on each side. So we're gonna go ahead and on bolts, let's see, one, two, three, and four bolts. Looks like they're 10 millimeters. So we'll go ahead and just zip those bad boys off real quick. All right, so now that we got the heat shields out of the way, we gotta use a flathead to take one, two, and three of those plugs out. There's one here on the front. We don't take that one out, you leave that there. So we're just gonna go ahead and push these out. Okay, there's one. There's two, last but not least. All right, three. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do that on the other side. I went ahead and removed the three plugs on this side, one, two, and three. This is the back of the car, as you can see. So this one stays intact. We do not take that one out. Again, one, two, three we just use a flat head to just pry them out of there so that is the hole that we're going to be using to feed the bolts through to feed through here and to feed through there with the heat shields this one and that one by the way this is a touring x team so it has the double mufflers or the double exhaust sorry and so because of that there's two heat shields so we have to go ahead and make a hole for the middle opening that is on the car. So it you have to measure from the middle of the hole here in two and three quarters. As you can see, I already have my tape measure set up there. So we're gonna go ahead and two and three quarters. It's about right there. Two and three quarters. Two and three quarters, perfect. And Looks like the diameter has to be 
three quarters. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a pilot hole. Okay, so we got our two holes in both of the heat shields and I lined them up and they fit perfect. So next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and start feeding the bolts through the frame of the Subaru. Let's get it. Here we have our bolt kits that comes with the hitch. So these are your conical washers. So these have teeth in them as you can see. We'll use those as the washers and then the bolt over that to bolt these into place. So we have four of those. We have two of these, which are the special washer. And then we got two of these, as you can see, they're a bit different. These are gonna go towards the back of the vehicle, or I guess towards the, towards the door, the back door, the hatch. And this is gonna go more towards the inside of the vehicle towards the front. And these washers are gonna go towards the back of the hitch. So say this is the trunk. So here, I guess I'll just go ahead and do a little layout for you. So these are gonna go towards the back. If this is the back of the vehicle, so we're gonna go ahead and set these bad boys up like that. There you go. So let's go ahead and get started. And these are gonna be the wires that you fish all of these through and I'll go ahead and get started on the on the installation of these so you can see what we need to do so we're gonna go ahead and work on the front here and again it's this guy so what we're wanting to do is we're gonna go ahead and fish this through like that till we get to the end and we're gonna go ahead and thread thread our bolts through here. Whoever invented this thing was an absolute genius, by the way. So here we go. That's what it looks like. We threaded it through that guy. And so we're gonna go ahead and feed it through the access hole. Alrighty. Next, we're gonna go ahead and do this one, and it's gonna feed through this hole right there. So let's go ahead and feed. We went ahead and fed the wire through the hole. Now we're gonna go ahead and screw the bolt. Sure, it's nice and secure. And we're gonna go ahead and feed it through the opening here in the back. go all righty there is bolt number two, and I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side off camera here. All right, y'all, so we went ahead and installed the plates and the bolts, the carriage bolts on both sides. We need to install these two washers on the hitch. So it's gonna go there and here. But in order to do so, I'm gonna go ahead and show you a little trick. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and use a little bit of tape here to fasten these washers in place. So we put the tape there. And we're gonna go ahead and line it up. Just like that. 
And let's go ahead and do the same to the other side. Make sure it's lined up. Perfect. That's cool. We're good there. And just gonna go poke a hole. Poke a hole through that mother. So that is intact. And we'll go ahead and push a hole through there. And now that is also intact. There you have it. So now that we got all of the preliminary stuff out of the way, now it is time to install the hitch. And I have to forewarn you, it is a little heavy. And if you don't have an extra pair of hands, I would recommend using a jack and just kind of hoisting it up, kind of holding it, trying to hold it in place while you feed the, the cables through and to go ahead and tighten up the hitch in place. So I am gonna go ahead and use that method. But again, if you do have an extra pair of hands around, that actually would be a lot more beneficial and a lot easier than trying to do it on your own and trying to use a jack. But it does work. It just takes a little bit of patience, but you can do it. So yeah, let's go ahead and raise this hitch into place. So now that we have finished putting the hitch in place, we screwed it in and we bolted down the bolts by hand. Now it's time to torque it to the torque specs, which it calls for 50 foot pounds. It's gonna be your 17 millimeter socket to the bolts and there's four of them. So we're gonna go ahead and torque these bad boys down. All right, so we are on the bottom here. So there's the hitch. And I'm just gonna bring the light over here. So we went ahead and bolted those two bolts as you can see. There it is, right there. And we went ahead and bolted those down to 50 foot pounds. And on the other side over here, we got one and two. So we're done with that, the hitch is now installed now we need to go ahead and reinstall the heat shields there and there and again that's 10 millimeters those four bolts all right so heat shields have been reinstalled again it's those four 10 millimeter bolts there's that and also right there we need to go ahead and put the exhaust back together and that is a wrap so let's do it all right guys so i just went ahead and finished putting the exhaust back on we got one hanger here we got another hanger there you can see it there we put the hanger that was right there back, as you can see, and the two over there. All right, here is the finished product. As you can see, that's how much it is suppressed there. So, can't really tell it's there. Unless you really get down on there, but I mean, it looks pretty good. Took a took a good bit to get it done, but we got it finished, boys. Yes, there she is. 
all bolted up and ready for the adventure. Well, that is it for the install of the U-Haul hitch for the 2020 through 2022 Subaru Outback. And I do believe that it fits all of the trim models. I've done it before on our old Subaru Outback 2015. It was a pretty similar process. The only difference is this is the XT, so it has a dual exhaust. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you then, or I'll see you another time.